Those of you headed for West Region play in Milwaukee, Minnesota and Xavier getting ready to tip. Let's send you there now and join Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarkel. On the road to the final four, first round action from the West. The number six seed, Xavier, taking on the number 11 seed, Minnesota Golden Gophers. Look at the brackets. Winner here will meet the survivor of Pittsburgh, Oakland, the 314 matchup, which is coming up. BYU and Kansas State have already advanced with victories in Oklahoma City. Look at the starting lineups for this one. Minnesota goes with Westbrook, Joseph, Hoffarber, Johnson, and Ralph Sampson III. The Musketeers with Holloway, Crawford, Jackson, McLean, and the lone senior, Jason Love, a three-year starter in the middle. And this game being brought to you in high-definition television by LG. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarco, rest of our CBS crew. This Minnesota team wasn't even sure if they were going to get into the NCAA tournament. Before they headed into the Big Ten tournament, they upset Michigan State. They crushed Purdue in the Big Ten semifinals, 69-42. to They lost to Ohio State in the championship game. They stayed in Indianapolis at the Conseco Fieldhouse to watch the selection show on CBS. Found out that they got in and then promptly broke a couch in the process. I think that bill is in the mail. I watched the show also, but no couches were broken <laughs> in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Xavier, they knew they were in. What a tremendous season out of the Atlantic 10. The co-regular season champions with Temple. They finished 24-8. and eight. They've become one of the most consistent programs in the country. Went to the Elite Eight in 2008, the Sweet 16 in 2009. Good crew here, John Cal. He's had four national championship games to his credit. John Hampton and Wallace Ritecki. Minnesota and Xavier, and we're underway in Milwaukee. Xavier controls the tip. A couple of keys you're looking for here early. Uh, Xavier loves to shoot the three. I think that's the first thing you think about with them, but they're long and they're quick, too, in terms of controlling the rebounds. But I think offensively, they want to make sure they don't turn the ball over, especially in the open floor. Love the back end. Sampson couldn't grab it, and it's out of bounds. So Xavier will hold on to it. Keep an eye on Jordan Crawford, number 55. What a difference maker he has been for the Musketeers. First in the Atlantic 10 in scoring in the regular season, 19.7 points per game overall. The transfer from Indiana. An explosive score, Ian. And the other thing, though, too, to be pointed out is he's gotten better and better with his floor game, especially at the defensive end, as Minnesota starts with what looks like a 2-3 zone, but it's more of a matchup. So let's see how they develop. There's Crawford giving up the dribble, a floater inside. McLean got the angle and the foul. A chance at a three-point play to open things up. Sampson there with a bump. Well, when you go over the top like that, that's one of the things they will look for constantly in terms of getting McLean the ball down deep. He's one of their most improved players coming on strongly over the last two and a half, three weeks. So Xavier off to the 2-0 lead. Jamel McLean, a 62% shooter. Transferred from Tulsa. And this is on the free throw. Minnesota Golden Gophers, 21 and 13 on the season. The most losses for any at-large team in the tournament. And that goes down to three for Westbrook. Little bank early on to get things going for Minnesota. They like to spread the wealth a little bit in terms of passing the ball. A lot of guys like to put it on the floor, kick. But if they're playing well, many of their players will be getting touches and getting involved. Jackson bounce on the interior, and the floater goes for McLean. And Xavier with a 4-3 lead just over a minute gone by in this first half. Westbrook looks to the inside, keep it outside. Puffarmer can really stroke it. That he can at 47% from three. A huge mistake if you're going to leave him by himself out on the perimeter. That's all he loves to do is shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. He led the Big Ten in three-point shooting and conference play. Jump shot from the side. That won't go. Crawford looking to get involved. Minnesota comes the other way with a 6-4 advantage. DeVoe Joseph, hybrid guard, a good shooter. Westbrook, now it's Sampson. And short on the delivery. Ralph Sampson the third, the son of the three-time college basketball player of the year. Ralph Sampson, former star at Virginia and NBA All-Star. 
fadeaway won't go for Holloway. Off the long rebound, Joseph pushing tempo. And Joseph with a leaner. Back outside, jumper won't go for Westbrook. And rebound controlled by Love, up the floor. Jackson gets the step, and Jackson is fouled. Getting back defensively, Damian Johnson. And forced to hack. Dante Jackson will shoot a pair. Well, you take a look at the kick out right here. If a quick shot from the corner. If it doesn't go down, that means you generally have no balance on the defensive end of the floor. And Xavier took advantage of that in a hurry. Jackson getting ahead. And that nice little lob pass over the top makes it easier to catch and try to finish. Second team foul against Minnesota. Dante Jackson, 83% shooter from Greenfield, Ohio. In our first substitution, Mark Lyons will check into the game, and Terrell Holloway, the sophomore, will take a seat. Lyons is only a freshman from Schenectady, New York. He's their best on-the-ball defender, though, so we'll see him pick up, try to control the tempo defensively. Here he is right at half court. And we're tied at six. Work the perimeter with Joseph, Canadian from Pickering, Ontario. Hoffarber gives it up. Johnson, the senior. Nice cut to the rim, but solid defense from McLean for Xavier. So Mark Lyons now running the show for the Musketeers. Just about three minutes elapsed in this first half. Love needs some help. Crawford, the jump shot. No. McLean kept it alive. Westbrook able to save. And now Joseph pushing the ball. Oh, not only saved it, but missed the out-of-bounds line down on the baseline. Terrific effort there by Westbrook to come from nowhere for that rebound. They show defensively with Love. Johnson was looking to the inside. Couldn't get it to Sampson initially. Tough shot underneath. Ralph Sampson, the third, gets the deuce. That's a good catch because he just, before he caught the basketball, he just kind of put the left hand up there and deflected it and tried to stop it. Rather than catch it first, stop the ball in flight and then make a move with the other hand. Solid improvement in year two for Sampson. Great position, Love. He squeezes it up. No. I don't put the ball on the floor there with this Minnesota squad. You're going to be in trouble. Now it's Joseph up the floor in a hurry. Hoffarber missed it for three. Rebounded by Crawford, knocked out of his hands. And Xavier will have it at the 16-15 mark of the first. Turmoil in the Twin Cities this year. A lot of distractions to deal with. Royce White, big-time recruit, dismissed from the team. Also, Trevor Mbakwe sitting out during an investigation. Al Nolan was their starting point guard. Academically ineligible right now. On March the 2nd, they were 17-12. and 12. They did not look like a tournament team after an 83-55 loss to Michigan. Denied on the inside, Andrew Taylor, who just checked in. Hard cut, Westbrook knows how to score. That won't go down, it's rebounded by Iverson. And the sophomore is fouled. Pretty good work by both defense, Iverson, their offense and defense. We'll get our first break, 15-50 to play. First half, Minnesota up by two. the tournament summary right out of the gate the Big East having a tough time in 2010 one and three in the lone victory Villanova able to squeak by Robert Morris three overtime games on the first day of the tournament we had two overtime games in the entire 2009 tournament and seven games decided by three points or fewer a rash of upsets lower seats came to play on day one well, I think it's going to be that type of tournament I and I think you know when you look at these seeds I think after you get by maybe the first six or seven teams in the country, everything is up for grabs. Iverson, a post-up, working against Kenny Freeze. Double team comes. Crawford tried to save it, and he does off Minnesota. Xavier takes over. Minnesota with a two-point lead and our first turnover of the day. Tubby Smith, 19th year as a head coach, and his 16th NCAA tournament, wherever he's been, he's won. Crawford gives it up. Holloway back in there for Xavier. Back in by Freeze. Double team comes. Ball movement. Crawford driving to the hoop. And it was blocked. Tracked down there by Holloway. Shot clock is at seven. Yep, we got to reload it. Crawford fires and connects. A three. Jordan Crawford, the Detroit native. His older brother Joe is a standout at Kentucky. Crawford was in the Big Ten with Indiana. And what 
An impact he's had with Xavier. Jump shot doesn't go for Joseph. Rebounded by Freeze for the Musketeers. Joseph with the quick trigger, but Crawford down the other, time, the other side. Sometimes you get a better shot after a broken play, just like they did with Xavier just then. Holloway sets up the offense, playing alongside Lions. The penetration. And not on the same page with Holloway. It's out of bounds. Chris Mack. First year as a head coach with Xavier and the winningest first year head coach in Division One basketball this season. He's a Xavier guy all the way. Longtime assistant. Played at Xavier under Pete Gillen. Went to St. Xavier High School in Cincinnati. <laughs> so what are you trying to tell me there? He's an X-Man. <laughs> and he knows his X factor for today in this tournament was to try to shorten the days, take the distractions out of the days and just get his team ready to play. And that was the other thing, getting, you know, with Tubby Smith before you talked about the turmoil that they went through. That was exactly what he was the most, the proudest of with his team. I, and the fact that they were able to buy in individually and as a team and stop with the distractions and really get their focus back on track. Colton Iverson travels and Minnesota turns it over with Xavier up by one. Iverson's dad, Charlie, was drafted by the Seattle Supersonics, former star at the University of South Dakota. 9-8, Xavier in front. We'll hit the 14-minute mark of this first half here in Milwaukee. Minnesota back to their man-to-man, -man, which is what they really like to play. Put a strip there. Nice save, though, by Lions. Xavier has been to the NCAA tournament nine of the last ten years. Freeze. Now Jackson, who's back in there, using the McLean screen. Jump shot, no. And it's rebounded by Westbrook. Smallest man on the court. Well, that's a tough pass right there. Long lead feed. Ends up in the hands of Bostic, who just came on for Minnesota, and knocked out of bounds. Xavier will have it, 13-39 mark of the first half. Now, this Xavier team lost the top three scores from last year's tournament team, Derek Brown, B.J. Raymond, C.J. Anderson, yet they're 11th in the nation in scoring at 80 points per game. Pull up pump. Holloway comes up short. Offensive rebound, freeze, able to guide it to the perimeter. That's the beauty of the college game, though, too, Ian, is the fact that guys leave, and there are guys who just get plenty of time to replace them. McLean swatted by Iverson. Out of bounds. Xavier will retain it. Colton Iverson at 6'10", 258 pounds. So they lost their top three scores, and they lost their head coach, Sean Miller, moving on to the University of Arizona. Well, it just means you kind of add the philosophy and make some changes, which Chris Mack did, but the other guys were ready to buy into it, and they've had a good focus, and that's why it took them a little getting to, together in terms of the beginning of the season to try to get their rhythm and their chemistry down. He felt the older guys really took the younger players under their wing this year in what many thought could be a transition year. That's not what Xavier felt coming into the season. 24-8, 14-2 in the Atlantic 10. Shot clock is winding down. On a dump down, Jackson for Love. He's surrounded. Left hand, no. And rebound controlled by Paul Carter for Minnesota. Good work by Cobbs on the other side of the floor, too. The little guy blocking out. He was all alone. Little Island on the right side of the floor and saved the basketball. Xavier is 3 of 14. They've missed 11 of their last 12 shots. Off Arbor. On a dump down, Iverson. Shot clock is down to 10. And the baby hook doesn't go, rebounded by Love. People will say it's just another game in the life of a college player, but first few minutes of an NCAA game, you are nervous. You know exactly what the, the stakes are. A little push right there by Iverson. And it will be Colton Iverson, a banger, picking it up. CBSSports.com is your destination for NCAA tournament coverage. Get real-time scoring, expert analysis, video highlights from every game at CBSSports.com. Crawford unloads a three. No good. And Hoffarber will get it ahead. Justin Cobbs, freshman from Los Angeles. Not much of a scoring threat, but... He's been able to take care of the basketball, limit the turnovers in his first year. Well, we've shown with two of these teams where deflection is going to be an easier opportunity. Jackson gives it up, and Crawford lays it in for Xavier. Just going to say, I both of these teams are struggling to get the 30% from the field goal percentage. Maybe a little drive to the basket, put it on the floor, kick it out in rhythm for the shot, or get something going to the 10. 
And Xavier with a three-point lead. Oh, not a good steal. Jackson hits the deck, trying to take a timeout. Ooh. It's a tie-up. And possession arrow is in favor of Minnesota. 11.25 to play in this first half. Xavier with an 11-8 lead. Chris Mack in his first tournament game as a head coach. He's got a three-point edge in Milwaukee. Four, four, four rebounds, nine points, had a great start. A little bit sloppy there in transition for West Virginia. Always helps when the ball goes in the basket. West Virginia missed its first 11 shots, really came out cold since then. Seven for nine, they've settled down. The rhythm to this game is more to their liking, but we saw what happened yesterday, so we're going to watch this closely and see if they can uh, pull away or give Morgan State some belief. They've won their league three years in a row, so they've got confidence. this West Virginia team go? Well, I think they can go as far as, as they want to go, really. They can win the whole thing, but uh, they've got to be able to take care of business right now and they let Morgan State off to a good start and that's why they're in trouble. All right meanwhile in Jacksonville they're in a timeout right now 11 and a half minutes to play in the first half and the big red of Cornell leading the fifth seed Temple Owls 19 to 11. We'll keep track. Let's get you back to Milwaukee. Minnesota and Xavier once again Ian and Jim. Dante Jackson of Xavier at the line one more free throw coming. Impressive NCAA tournament last year when he averaged 10 points per game. Tough defender. We've already seen him come up with a pair of steals in this first half. Play point guard for yep. stretches each of the last two years. More comfortable in this swingman role. Right, a couple guys playing out of their traditional positions, but watch for the high-low action. Samson will pop up, like you mentioned, Diane, to get that jumper, but he'll also pop up to the free throw line and go over the top for Johnson down deep occasionally. Minnesota shooting 27%. Sweeping move, it comes in and out for Samson. Well, a little uh, look there of the dad in the old days. A little longer, but nice move down deep. Love trying to muscle it up. Finally won't go for McLean. It pops outside. Lions may have gotten away with the trout. I think he did. Crawford lines it up and nails it. It's a three. Well, Crawford there taking advantage. They're looking for him either to shoot it from long range or put it on the floor, but he's very, very good at reading defensive sets. It's a 9-0 run for Xavier. 15-8, Musketeers in front. Westbrook catch and shoot. Cans it, long two-pointer. Lawrence Westbrook. Nice over-the-top pass, too, though, recognizing that Westbrook was wide open in the corner. Over 1,000 career points in his Golden Gopher career. They fake on a double. Reset now for Xavier with 22 on the clock. We are past the halfway point of this first half. Crawford. Love pops to the outside. Long three, Crawford. And a push inside. McLean got the advantage. And a loose ball foul. That's his first. Iverson will come back on for Minnesota. He replaces Paul Carter. In 2009, Minnesota lost in the opening round to Texas, 76 to 62. Kenny Freeze in for Jamel McLean for Chris Mack's squad. This Minnesota team defensively led the Big Ten in blocks and steals. Hard drive, Joseph couldn't finish. Nice high screen also. Joseph with the good read. Just having trouble confidence-wise. Minnesota just getting shots to drop for him. 4 of 14 from the floor. Lions feeding in stride. Long missed it on the interior. And Samson able to clear it for Minnesota. How about the help by Johnson defensively? Off the shake and bake. Westbrook frees himself. That's a three. Off the side of the rim. Lions has got the loose ball. Snaking his way and rejected by Sampson. He can get to the middle of the floor. Johnson, right down the middle. He finds Westbrook, who lays it in. Good work by Johnson just then, though. Ryan, find the middle of the floor. Gives yourself so many different options. Crawford, the give up. Freeze couldn't catch it. Now a scramble. It leaks outside. Off the skip pass, Jackson. Can't hit the three. Push somewhere in there. Somebody pushed. The glove went flying. It's not easy to move him out of there. But 6'9, 265. 
take a look at Minnesota defensively. have really been focusing pretty well in terms of stopping the drive, the penetration. You'll notice that it's a multiple of guys helping out, especially Iverson sticking his, his arms up there and body to be the second guy in, which is usually the guy who gets the recognition. But you'll notice before the blocks that the Minnesota players are helping out and putting bodies on the shooters. Second foul on Damian Johnson, the senior from Thibodeau, Louisiana. Okay. Love denied and a clean block for Iverson. Yep, straight up. Him and Samson both on the play. Up the floor in a hurry. Joseph now, he's got the step on Crawford. Now backs it out for Minnesota. Xavier with a 15 to 12 lead. Get everybody involved. Nice oh, block. Wide open on the screen and roll. Iverson gets the deuce and now Minnesota's finding some holes in the Xavier D. Lions rebounded by Freeze. Puts it back up. Love keeps it alive, and it's tracked down by Hoffarger. Well, Minnesota's really altering and blocking a lot of opportunities. Open look, Westbrook, bottom for three. And all of a sudden, what happens? Your defense starts to kick in, your offense follows suit, and all of a sudden, Minnesota picking up a little vibe, a little confidence, defensively making things happen at both ends of the floor, but the defense has really started to pick it up and triggered it. The pendulum has swung in favor of Minnesota, a 9-0 run for the Golden Gophers. Two-point game with 7.48 to play. First half, action from the West Regional in the road to the Final Four. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Greg Gumbel, Greg Anthony, Seth Davis will take you out for a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament. And we'll get you caught up on all the latest tournament news. Plus, at AT&T, Naismith Watch Update. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. As Minnesota has picked up offensively, Xavier has gone the other way. The Musketeers have missed on their last nine shots from the field. They're now shooting at 19%. And you saw those six blocks. Guess who the number one team in blocking shots is in the Big Ten? Team Minnesota, and they're showing it why, because they're chipping in. Iverson with his three blocks, but everybody else is a factor defensively. Holloway back in there for Xavier with McLean, Freeze. Good post up by Kenny Freeze from Massillon, Ohio, the sophomore, and a 9-0 run. Has had some good games. One in particular was Florida this year, but the quick catch and go makes a difference. Sampson at the hole clogged up there by McLean. Hoffarger looks to the post. A yeah, real tight defensive man-to-man -man in terms of trying to squeeze the middle of the floor. Joseph. He drew two defenders at left Sampson open. Iverson, the offensive rebound, and a reach-in foul. Brad Redford, who just checked in, will step aside with 6.55 to go. First half, we're all tied up. Monday on CBS, see what happens when Sheldon gets a wicked case of stage fright. On an all-new Big Bang Theory, it's Monday, only CBS. Chris Mack, 40-year-old head coach at Xavier, 1992 grad, grew up a Xavier fan. He actually attended Bob Stack's basketball camps as a kid and played for Pete Gillen, who is part of the Westwood One broadcasting team, along with Wayne Larravee. We asked head coach Mack about playing for Gillen. He said he has great memories. He couldn't understand him initially. He's a fast talker. <laughs> say that. Oh, he Pete's one of the great characters yeah, in college fabulous. basketball. Fabulous. Terrific person. Yep. Sampson inside, doesn't get the roll, and not having a lot of luck on the interior for Ralph Sampson III out of Duluth, Georgia. We're tied at 17. Inside, Lions forcing the action. It's out of bounds going the other way. So you had Dillon, you had Mack, and the late oh. Skip Prosser, who was such a gentleman, former head coach at Xavier, and Wake Forest who recently passed away. So for Chris Mack, he says he's taken a little something from all the guys he played for and coached under. He was an assistant under Skip Prosser, right. in fact, at Wake Forest, had left Xavier to go to Wake and came back to Xavier and served under Sean Miller. Yeah, it's always a blending process. You pick a little bit here and there and come up with your own style and put it all together and hope it works. Officials came together, decided it is Xavier's ball off the deflection. Brad Redford is a designated three-point shooter. That's basically all he does. He shoots threes and he makes threes. Good help right there by Sampson. And McLean hanging in the air, but 
can't get it to go. Iverson clears it. I'll tell you what, Colton Iverson has been a huge factor in this first half. Setting the screen for Joseph. Five rebounds, three blocks for Iverson. That high screen will get them some mileage, too, if they're quick with it. Maybe not the screener, but the second guy cutting through the lane. Well, a good double team. Behind the back, Iverson cross court. Hoffarber, pump on Crawford, 10 to shoot. Westbrook right down the middle, the teardrop. Now, Minnesota's defense has really given them some confidence at the offensive end of the floor. You can just sense it, the fact that they're all playing team basketball at one end. It started slowly in the first five, seven minutes of this game, but now they're clicking a little bit at the offensive end. Three-year starter Lawrence Westbrook has put up 12 points. He averages just over 12 and a half per game. Crawford on a crossover. Just having a tough time getting into their sets here. Well, they're having a tough time getting the ball into the lower portion of the floor. A freeze, drop step, denied! And Freeze able to stick with it and put it over Iverson for the bucket. Boy, Iverson there again defensively. Good stay by Freeze to stay with that. Here's that high screen again. Now roll to the basket. Yep, they just missed him to the right. Colton Iverson, the back end against Freeze. And a foul called. Iverson going to the free throw line as Kenny Freeze is called on the hack. Well, Iverson, like you just touched on, I am very big defensively down deep. He's keeping his hands straight up, but he's a factor at the offensive end of the floor also, where he's just rolling to the basket, offensive glass, doing a terrific job at both ends of the floor. Can we give this guy a nickname? Maybe C.I.? There you go. Very nicely said. 53% shooter at the line. Well, here's a point, too, for you, you know, when you, when you think about it, in terms of the way this game has been going, defensively, Minnesota's not allowing any easy touches down deep. But look at this floor, too, Ian. One of the few floors, if you look right there, right? Where's the paint? The paint is reversed. That's a great point. So what are we going to start calling that? Can I still call it the paint, Jimmy? <laughs> Holloway, off-balance delivery, and knocked out of bounds. Who touched it last? Xavier. Officials will come together. And they'll switch the call. So Xavier will retain it. Well, let's take a look. Boy. Tough from that angle, though, huh? Ah, there oh. you go. Ah, now they got it. we catch it with that shot. Very well done in terms of the hand flicking the ball to the chest of Iverson, and off it goes. Good work by the officials, and a great shot right there. We are tied at 19, 435 to play first half here in Milwaukee. Size advantage. Xavier shooting it at 22% from the field. Crawford splits defenders and a blocking foul call. Crawford earns a trip to the free throw line. I'm a big believer. You have to recognize and give the player coming to the basket some room to operate. Iverson sliding in across the floor, not allowing himself to get set beforehand. It's a good call from the officials. Second foul against Colton Iverson and Jordan Crawford, a 77% free throw shooter at the line. He spent one year at prep school, Hargrave Military Academy in Virginia. Nine points now for Crawford. And I'd be tempted. I think they're going to do that right now. Yep, they're going to exit Iverson with the second foul. I think that's a terrific move by Tubby Smith right now because you do not have to, in the last four and a half minutes or so in this first half, do not want to risk him picking up a third foul. Not only the foul, but it's the change mentally for the whole approach. Love off the offensive glass. He thought he was fouled yeah, on the interior. He, he might have gotten bumped a little bit. Nice follow-up, though, on the missed free throw. Xavier with a one-point lead, the sixth seed in the West, taking on the number 11 seed, Minnesota, here in Milwaukee. Ball fake, Westbrook gives it up. Wide open look, Sampson missed it. And rebound cleared by McLean. Jackson fires the three. And Minnesota looking to run. Yep, they got the numbers if they hurry. Three on two developing, Hoffarber. Weak side rebound, snared by Crawford. Xavier with a 20 to 19 advantage. Holloway lines it up. Love the offensive rebound and a foul called against Ralph Sampson the third. Jason Love will go to the free throw line when we come back. 3.33 to play, first half. Xavier up one. 
look at the game summary with Xavier in front, 20 to 19. Neither team shooting it well. Three-point shooting for Xavier, two of eight. Defensively for Minnesota, seven blocks for the Golden Gophers. Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarco rejoining you here in Milwaukee. Great to be part of the big dance once again here on CBS. Were you expecting excellent defense here between these two schools? Because Xavier is known for their offense. On both of these teams scored about 73 points a game. You know, I, a lot of times you won't believe this, but at halftime I used to go in and grab the stat sheet when you're having a good game look at your numbers <laughs> really not many of these guys are going to be grabbing the stat sheets to see what their numbers are because the shooting percentages aren't great you know and I just touched on it at a pace Tubby Smith's team Xavier both of them going up and down the floor usually scoring a lot of points this just looks like a typical NCAA game where it's going to be forget about what you did in the regular season in your postseason tournaments and everything just keep playing Jason Love finally on the board his first point of the day Xavier with a 22 to 19 lead over Minnesota. We've got 320 remaining in this first half. Carter has come back on for the Golden Gophers. Into the hands of Joseph will set things up and whistle blows. Some activity on the inside away from the ball. And it will be Love picking up the personal. Team foul number five against Xavier, 17 fouls against Minnesota. Love 0 for 7 so far in this game, too, so hasn't been able to get on track offensively for Xavier. And Joseph calls out a play. Well, couldn't get it to Hoffiver. Out of bounds, unforced error for the Golden Gophers. You know, defensively though, on the point, though, pretty decent job defensively there by Xavier in terms of sticking with your man and a little jump across also by Jackson, who's been very active at both ends of the floor for Xavier. Minnesota has turned it over five times. Xavier just one turnover in this first half. We are under three minutes to play. 22 to 19, Musketeers. Even though they've had a bunch of shots blocked by Minnesota, I think you still need some quick hitters going towards the basket. Crawford short on a three. Love clears out space, and he's called on the foul. Jason Love, his second personal, the senior from Philadelphia. Third team, all Atlantic 10 member, has lost 30 pounds since coming to Xavier, and right now he lost his spot on the floor. He'll head to the bench. Now, this Minnesota team has gotten a lot from its bench over the course of the season. 24 points per game from their reserves, second in the Big Ten. The scoring, though, today has come from Lawrence Westbrook. He's been the high man with 12. Huffarber lines it up, and he knocks down a three. Gets his feet set before he shoots the basketball. One of the keys in terms of being able to get your shot off in a hurry. Second three of the day, he's got six points. Huffarber has tied this game at 22. Crawford. Oh, he can slash. Yeah, there's your quick hitter right there. Get yeah. the ball. Get it going to the hoop. Crawford puts some English on it. Xavier up by two. Two minutes to play. First half. That Justin Cobbs is in. He's the freshman. Bishop Montgomery High School. Out in L.A. A small lineup out there for Minnesota right now. Carter the spin. Knocked up in the air. And Carter. Good effort by the junior from Little Rock, Arkansas. Tubby Smith's first recruit at Minnesota. Junior college transfer will go to the free throw line. You take a look at the footwork. Very nicely done in terms of getting both feet behind him as the ball approaches him. That way you don't have to reload as much with your footwork and you get the shot off a whole lot better and quicker. And lefties always seem to just have the knack, don't they? A nice little flow to their game and the shot. Make it look easy. Substitution for Xavier as Jackson will sit, replaced by Lyons. Carter at the free throw line. Taylor was called on his first foul. Paul Carter, 68% free throw shooter. The Xavier lead is one. Terrell Holloway, lead guard for the Xavier squad. He's improved dramatically from freshman year to sophomore year. Struggled with turnovers last year. Ball movement. And McLean unable to hit the leaner. Still fighting on the inside. And it hit off the back side of the backboard. And last touch by Minnesota. Boy, did they have a collapse defensively just then. And we're seeing a great job by Tubby Smith's squad. You take a look. Here's the miss. But now look at the circles. Here we go. We got everybody surrounding the shooter. 
Mm. Not sure about that. It looked like he brought it to the floor and then hit the, yeah, the support behind the basket. Should be Minnesota ball. Right. Down to 115 remaining in this first half. Xavier with a new shot clock to work with. Minnesota really swarming the paint area. Catch on the blocks by Xavier, and then all of a sudden you see the Minnesota team just really focus on the inside defense. Crawford defended by Hoffarber. He gives it up for Holloway. The drive, left hand. Oh, they're getting after it inside. <laughs> it's squirted out to McLean for the jam. The guys all over the place swinging and swiping at it. And finally he gets one to just trigger and comes very easily into his hands to finish one off. 40 seconds to play. First half, Xavier leads by three. Westbrook has been the go-to guy. A three. Knocks it down. The ability to put the ball on the floor and while you're doing it, to be able to space to free yourself up just enough time to get your shot off. Well done by Westbrook. 15 of Minnesota's 26 points belong to Lawrence Westbrook, the senior from Chandler, Arizona. Shot clock has been turned off. Final moments of this first half. We're down to 10. They spread the floor. They're going to let Crawford operate with five. Makes his move. Jump step. To the outside. Lions fires. No good at the horn. All knotted up at 26 and 26. End of the first half here in Milwaukee. Minnesota and Xavier all tied up. Right now, let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. It's AT&T at the half. CBS Sports exclusive college basketball coverage is sponsored by Miller Lite. Buick. HP. And by LG. It's the fourth all-time meeting between Xavier and Minnesota. Golden Gophers with a 3-0 record. Last time these two schools met, 1957. A spot in the second round is on the line here in Milwaukee. We're underway in the second half. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarco, the rest of our CBS crew. Xavier, the number six seed. Minnesota, the number 11 seed, tied at 26. First possession, it's Crawford right down the lane. Finds Love, count it, and a foul. Good decision, smart way to start your half off, too. I mean, they had trouble, they had 10 shots blocked on them in the first half. But what better way to come down the floor and get your big guy involved, who was really slowed in the first half. 0 for 7 was Love in the first half, so good decision right there to come back and really go at it. Good work from Chris Mack and company. First foul on Lawrence Westbrook. Jason Love, the all-time winningest player in Xavier basketball history. And he gives the Musketeers a three-point lead. 106 wins in his career. Damian Johnson foul trouble in the first half and assertive to start play in the second half. His first bucket of the day. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we see a repeat of the first half where guys were struggling to get their shots off or did their, both their coaches just say, hey guys, relax, go out and just let it rip and play. Have some fun. McLean had it blocked. That's number 11 for Minnesota. Knocked out of bounds. The NCAA tournament team record for blocks in a game, 14. It was set by the 1998 Kentucky Wildcats coached by Tubby Smith. In defense by committee with the block shots down below. Crawford fires, can't hit the three. Rebound controlled by Sampson for Minnesota. Golden Gophers down by one, a minute gone by in this second half. Joseph thought about the pull-up. Yeah, good decision not to shoot it right there, especially with Sampson trailing the play. Get your bigs down the floor before you take a shot like that. Westbrook has done the majority of the scoring for Minnesota. Hoffarber using the Sampson screen. Johnson, a three. And rebound to Joseph. Johnson dives towards the rim and he lays it in. Damian Johnson, the reliable senior, versatile combo forward, back-to-back -back buckets. Joseph barely had to move for that shot, too, with the offensive rebound just then. It kicked right off hard and right to his hands. Off the back, and they send a double on McLean. Ball movement leads to Holloway. That's a three. Soft touch, doesn't go. Rebound snatched inside by McLean, and he'll back it out for Xavier. See what the bigs have done for Minnesota, though. They're getting you to think about shooting the ball underneath. And Crawford is pushed on the baseline. 
Hoff Arbor was there defensively for Minnesota. A little bit of a hand first. And a couple there. The great, when you put those hands out, you start to extend. You know you're going to get in trouble. He did it twice just then. New shot clock for Xavier. Love the back end. Double. Yep. Double's going to come at him pretty often. Crawford roaming baseline. Hangs. And the follow goes down. Crawford stuck with the play. Sure did. He had to avoid the charge just then along the baseline, but a good stay in the middle of the paint area. But Minnesota still has them looking and thinking about their shots, but I think Xavier has to do just what he did then, just continue to go after the glass and drive it at the basket. 13 for Jordan Crawford. Hard drive. Westbrook had it knocked away. Crawford able to deflect it. You know, looking across the baseline, he's got to avoid Johnson and then just stays with the play because nobody else was jumping for the ball. Westbrook, screen and roll. Sampson leaning forward and can't get it to drop. Xavier coming the other way with Crawford. Nice work by Jackson defensively. Hop step. Whoa. And the scoop goes down. Creativity. Jordan Crawford and a steal for Xavier. Love. Layup doesn't go and a rebound controlled by Minnesota. Potential run out. Joseph. Hard to the hole, stripped to the ball and a reach in. <laughs> Some fancy dribbling also by Joseph in the open floor. But you talked about your creativity. I look at the extra extension to make that happen. Oh, baby, to hang in the air right there and then to somehow flip it up and direct it perfectly. A terrific move by Crawford with a little traffic to deal with. Crawford, <laughs> he's, he, smiling. he's got explosive <laughs> abilities as Joseph hits on the free throw 74%. Monday on CBS, March Madness continues with TV's number one comedy. Catch a new episode of Two and a Half Men. It's Monday only, CBS. Joseph sticks a pair. DeVoe Joseph's brother, Corey, one of the top high school point guards in the nation at Finley Prep in Nevada, and a highly sought after recruit. Look at the way Samson just hangs in the middle of the paint. Inside, it's Freeze getting the roll. Well, there's that quick little catch and shoot. Sometimes that's a more difficult shot than what it appears from about six feet away. 35-32, Xavier. There's Johnson. Backdoor. backdoor feet, extra pass, and Samson rocks the rim. Well, that's one of the things they do so well. Get some guys involved. Get a lot of touches at the offensive end. Terrific backdoor cut, though. The crossover, Holloway. It goes down. Terrell Holloway finds a hole. And I, and I like the way Xavier continues to say, forget about the block shots. We're going to go in there and test, throw our chest to chest and see what happens. First two of the day for the sophomore from Hempstead, New York. 37 to 34, Xavier. The number six seed in the West taking on number 11, Minnesota. Westbrook thought about it. Running one-hander doesn't go. Rebound controlled by McLean for Xavier. McLean is just cleaning up on the glass with 11 boards. Jump shot. Count it. It's Crawford from long range. For the explosive play, we've just talked about the drives to the basket, but you cannot forget about the ability of Crawford to go deep on you because he's just a shade under 40% from three. The all-around abilities on display for Crawford. He's got 18. Hard drive. Count it in one. DeVoe Joseph with an opportunity for three. Freeze the last line of defense. Jordan Crawford. This <laughs> is special. Beauty. Timeout in Milwaukee. Storyline in the second half. Hot shooting for Xavier in Minnesota. Something neither one of these two teams could do in the first half. But a completely different story offensively since the break. Six of 11 for Xavier in the second half. They shot 21%. In the first half, Xavier with a 40 to 36 lead. Crawford, he got a lot of attention this summer. Became a YouTube sensation when he dunked on LeBron James at a basketball camp. Nobody could find the video initially, then the video emerged. So there was a lot of hype surrounding Crawford entering his first year at Xavier after the transfer year from Indiana, and he's lived up to it. He sure has. That's a pretty good guy to go over, isn't it? As Joseph misses a blind, and rebound tracked down by Minnesota. 
Damian Johnson with the board. We come up on five minutes gone by in this second half. Joseph lines up the three. Rebound, Hoffarber inside, doesn't get the roll. Tip in Iverson. That won't go, and Hoffarber lobs it out. A reset for Minnesota. Well, Iverson played a nice first half in this ball game, too, and continues to be a factor just getting his hands on that glass ball. Westbrook, quick. Iverson, it's blocked by Freeze. 18 to shoot. Freeze returning the favor. It's like a football possession here. Hold on, time of possession. Nice look underneath. And Iverson. Well, that's going to count, too, I think. It is goaltending. Chance at a three-point play for Colton Iverson. McLean got it too late. Sometimes the big guys forget to just do the simple things on the floor. By simple, I just mean go and step towards the glass. Ball on the glass. You can get it on the glass if it's still on the way up. When it's coming off the glass on the way down, you're in trouble. Good call from the officials. Iverson has given Minnesota a jolt of energy off the bench. 53% shooter. He cuts this Xavier lead to one. Yeah, not to mention the defensive effort he gave them in the first half also. 40 to 39, Musketeers. Holloway gives it up. They like to go with this weave look and look for a dump down also. A little hand check though out front. And a push. It will be Westbrook against Crawford. We mentioned that Crawford, nobody could find the video initially. Then it slowly your, it emerged right there. And it was in your closet, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was LeBron Beautiful. James as we zoom in right there. Oh, the facial. Oh. We don't see what happened down the other end of the floor, though, do we? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 19.7 points per game, Jordan Crawford. Team fouls, three on Minnesota and Xavier. Jackson back in for the Musketeers. Here's Crawford using the McLean screen. Jackson steps into it and nails a three. Dante Jackson. Six points for Jackson. Xavier just much more confident offensively, getting everybody involved at the on their half-court sets in particular. Hoff Arbor, Crawford with a reach in, and a foul called. Fourth team foul for Xavier. Watch this reaction from Crawford after this play, but watch him handle the ball here too, Ian. Through the legs a couple of times. <laughs> Doesn't even realize he's doing it. 43-39, Xavier, 13 and a half to go in regulation. Johnson looks to the post, Iverson is battling inside with Love. Joseph trying to turn the corner, and Lyons trying to backpedal against him defensively. He's called for the foul. So it's team foul number five, first personal on the freshman Lyons. And good recognition just then by Joseph, just then for Tubby Smith's squad. You have a guy off balance and you're dribbling the ball. Continue to attack him until you get that call. Johnson on a kick out. New shot clock, Westbrook. He gets around Jackson. Iverson gathers. Bank shot, no. Tipped up. That won't go. And Love able to clean the glass for Xavier. Look out. Crawford in the open floor. He scores on the inside. Knew exactly what he was going to do once he caught that basketball. A terrific cross diagonal look to him, but as the ball was in the air, you could sense that he was going to catch it and drive it all in the same motion. Terrific run out. He can score in a variety of ways. He's got 20 points to lead Xavier, a six-point lead. Westbrook the floater. Out of bounds. It's off of Johnson of Minnesota. Well, there's the catch. You can see he's just intent on going right after the glass as quickly he catches the basketball. A nice cross. There it is, one step, and a cross. Beautiful move to finish it off. Xavier shooting 58% in the second half after shooting 21% before the break. They've opened up a six-point lead. They can add to it here. Loved watch by Iverson. Taylor has checked in, a junior from Toledo. And a foul called on the interior. Westbrook can't believe he was just called on his third foul. 
So he will be replaced by Devron Bostic, the senior from Racine, Wisconsin, local guy who gets a chance to play close to home here in Milwaukee. And that type of foul will occur on when you get good movement away from the ball. Crawford, he's taking over. I was waiting for the help from Minnesota. Nobody appeared, and Crawford recognized it also. Terrific, strong move to his left, showing us his versatility at the offensive end of the floor. He's got a lot of friends and family here who made the drive from Detroit. He's got 22, and Xavier's got their largest lead, 47 to 39. Boston, count it! A three. Big answer there by Bostic, too. This team was in a little bit of a trouble spot right now with the rhythm going the opposite way with Minnesota coming back, though, and answering. Big-time bucket right there. Won a state title here in Wisconsin in high school at Catherine's. And the Xavier lead is five. Taylor. Jackson trying to feed the post. Iverson steps in. He's filling up the statue. He sure is. Little lazy bounce pass, and Iverson just never stopped moving his feet. Joseph pull up. Rimming no, and knocked out of bounds. Who touched it last? Minnesota did. Xavier will have it when we come back. Jordan Crawford, the Detroit native, lighting up Milwaukee. Five-point lead for Xavier here in the West Region. First-round action. Xavier and Minnesota Musketeers are the number six seed. Jordan Crawford. We have seen the full repertoire in this second half. Jump shots from the perimeter, taking it to the rim. And beautiful finishes around the basket. Yeah, and that's the part I really like. I, when you're struggling as a team, get the ball and get it to the basket. Crawford really mixing it up nicely. It forces Minnesota now to come back out with a zone that looks like a matchup. Yep, it's going to be a matchup zone. Under 11 minutes to play in this second half. Holloway puts the ball on the floor. And Holloway with a floater. Doesn't go. Love couldn't grab it. And knocked out of bounds. Oh. Last touch by Minnesota. DeVoe Joseph could have grabbed yeah, I, it. I thought so also. I thought he had a play on that ball. Don't take any chances. Let's take a look. Ooh, last finger may have been Xavier there, though. He may have seen something from that angle underneath. And that's why he confidently let the ball go out of bounds. That ball may have hit off the Xavier finger. Musketeers maintain possession and a kickball. Came off the foot of Bostic. 47-42, Xavier. Musketeers making their 21st NCAA tournament appearance, their fifth in a row. And this matchup defense, Ian, it's man-to-man -man right there when the ball is with your guy, and then you have to react quickly to the wings. Somebody cuts through, you get the next man on the perimeter. Taylor sets a high screen for Holloway. They feed the post, Love with a shot clock at 10. Snaps a pass over for Jackson. Oh, risky feed. Lions feeds Jackson now. A three! Buries it. When they get guys, three and four guys, sometimes five, touching the basketball in a half-court set, that's when Xavier is very, very good. And that was well done in terms of it was a risky pass, as you mentioned, but they made something out of nothing along the baseline. Nine for Jackson, eight-point lead for Xavier. Iverson off the back end. Joseph will settle things down with 12 on the timer. Iverson sets the screen. Johnson, back door, he finds Bostic. Beautiful baseline delivery. That ball was so close to being stolen by Jackson also, but that gave them the numbers underneath. Minnesota cuts the Xavier lead to six. Musketeers shooting it at 67% in the second half. Hard drive, layup, no for Holloway. Iverson was able to jar it, Lufert for Hoff Harbor. Well, they got one underneath, they missed them. Cross court. Xavier 50, Minnesota 44. Nine minutes to play, second half. Hoff Arbor, catch and fire. Iverson got ridden off the play by Love, and here comes Xavier. Lions, pretty spin. What a delivery. 
Oh, what a fake also in the lane just then. Just bite a little bit to the middle of the floor, going to your left. As soon as you see the defender go, then it's a great time to spin on him. Xavier putting some space between them and Minnesota. Johnson unable to answer with a three. Love controls the glass. They can bring the lead to double figures. Holloway Whoa. tripped on the curl. Bodies go flying. Iverson and Taylor go down. And Holloway grabbing at his left foot after going down on the play. Well, guards always look for an opportunity. Watch the little tip to the left right there and the spin away. As soon as you feel that Joseph is going to go to his right, right there, then it's a great time. You've gotten him in the position where you can turn and get your shoulders ahead and nobody's going to touch you. Third foul on Iverson. Lyons takes a seat. He's been strong off the bench. Long jump shot, Jackson a three. Iverson, ball deflected, but here comes Minnesota. They need to find a good luck right here. Sampson back on the floor, defended by Freeze. The dive by Iverson, and was it a double tip? It was not, last touch by Xavier. 22 seconds remain on the shot clock for the Golden Gophers. Westbrook back in. He sat with three fouls. They will sit Iverson right now at the 8.02 mark. And then back to their little bit smaller lineup. Into the post. Sampson off a double. Westbrook was hot in the first half. Three ball. And the box out by Freeze. He was able to handle Sampson. They're using all of that muscle just then of 265 pounds to haul Samson off. Holloway backs it out. Some pressure there from Cobbs. High pick set by Freeze. We're down to 7.25 to go. Holloway and a foul call. It's Cobbs out front. We'll step aside. It's an eight-point game here in Milwaukee. Game summary, first round action from the West Regional. Xavier with a 52-44 lead on Minnesota, 57% in the second half. Crawford with 22 points overall. Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarco, the rest of our CBS crew, a lot of block shots in that first half yeah. for Minnesota. Ten of them, you figure maybe Xavier would be tentative going right. inside in the second half. That hasn't been the case. They've been aggressive. Not at all. I mean, it was one of those things. Chris Mack made the adjustment and said to the guys, hey, you know what? We've got some shots blocked. Obviously a big number in the first half. Let's continue to attack here and force some changes in Minnesota now back into their matchup zone. And Xavier continues to look down deep and kick it out. Jackson on the skip pass. Long three goes down Jordan Crawford. And there are the touches again. I mean, guys involved with the play. Get it inside, get it outside. Look, here comes another strip and off to the races. Jackson gives it up. Freeze the return feed, and a reach-in called Bostic with the slap. Freeze will go to the free-throw line. Xavier's got their largest lead of the day. Sunday, when the head of a billion-dollar business goes undercover, he'll discover the unsung heroes that make his company run. TV's number one new show, it's Undercover Ball, Sunday, only CBS. Kenny Freeze, 54% shooter, 17 foul against Minnesota. One of the things you see in Xavier do also very well, too, is the fact that they're making good decisions. Not only are they coming down and getting everybody involved, but that last trip, they came down and got freeze the basketball at first at the 15-foot mark. He was smart, smart enough to react and get rid of the ball, but then he went right down to his position down deep. Missed on a pair, Kenny Freeze. The lead is 11. Westbrook yep. trying to force it. Freeze right there with the hand on it. Holloway, nice dish. Freeze unable to finish. Rebounded there by McLean for Xavier. When it starts to go your way, your confidence builds, and Xavier has proven that over the last three or four minutes. Collective is, collectively as a group, very confident, and good things are happening because they're moving just a little quicker to the loose ball than what Minnesota is. Crawford, long three. And freeze over the back. It's going the other way. 16 foul against Xavier. 
Chris Mack. We asked him about the transition, assistant coach to head coach. He said the biggest key, organization. Recognizing that there are more responsibilities. Right. You can't just get that tunnel vision as an assistant where you focus in on one part of the team. Yeah, I thought it was interesting yesterday when he did say to us, you know, once in a while I kind of think to myself and say, hey, I'm responsible for what's going on out there. Right. <laughs> Johnson gives up his dribble. Minnesota needs a run here. Boy, Xavier is coming after them defensively, too. hoffarber has been quiet. Oh. And a foul called on the floor. Yeah. As Westbrook just went down hard along the baseline, Johnson comes over to help him up. NCAA March Madness On Demand is streaming every game from the NCAA Championship online for free. Watch any game from the tournament live at NCAA.com. Westbrook going to the free throw line. Some stories circulating today involving Tubby Smith. Dennis Dodd from CBSSports.com reporting that Tubby Smith is very close to taking the Auburn head coaching job. We spoke with the University of Minnesota about it. They had no comment on the matter. Obviously, the focus right now is on the NCAA tournament. But the stories are out there. A lot of distractions this time of year, too, right? With the coaching vacancies, his name popped up also for Oregon at one point in discussions. 55-46. Right now, the Golden Gophers trail. Xavier with 538 remaining. The dive to the rim. It's good, and the foul, Terrell Holloway. Well, a lot of people think you can go backdoor along the baseline and the wings, but a lot of times people forget that one of the best areas to go backdoor is right off the top screen. And they set it up well because your point guard has to make a decision. Does he fight over ball side, which you're taught? But when you do that, you can go by him with the pass. Well executed by Xavier. They're getting the ball towards the paint area. He led the Atlantic 10 in free throw shooting this season at 85%. Misses on the three-point opportunity. It's 57 to 46. Musketeers. Holloway has been held to four points today. Down to five, 26 remaining. Westbrook makes his move on a spin to the rim. Kick out. Johnson look at a three. Rebound Carter. And knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Xavier. Well, the Smith file led Kentucky to the national championship in 1998. He was a winner at Tulsa, a winner at Georgia, obviously a winner at Kentucky, and he's been a winner at Minnesota. 17 straight 21 season says it all right there. One of 16 children who grew up on a farm in Maryland. And last touched by Minnesota. Yeah, Johnson had a look at it down deep, couldn't convert. Well, Westbrook took on the load in the first half, scoring-wise, 17 overall, but just two in the second half. And a timeout taken by Chris Mack. The Musket Musketeers have been very crisp in this second half. We've got 5.06 to play. Xavier's got the double-digit lead. Season fans have submitted ideas to improve the fan experience. Now 64 will compete in the Coke Zero Brain Bracket. Decide who wins 10 grand. Vote at CokeZero.com. Xavier with a 57 to 46 lead over Minnesota. Time running out here for Tubby Smith and company. Xavier is taking advantage off the glass, offensive rebounds, turning it into second chance points. And even though they didn't shoot the ball well in the first half, they did get a bunch of those putbacks to help them stay with the tie game at the half. But right now, they are running on all cylinders with everybody getting involved, whether it's with the ball or away with the good, sharp cuts. And a steal for Westbrook. Minnesota on the move. Xavier able to get back defensively. Somebody's got to catch a hot hand here for Minnesota. And a foul called. The push, Damian Johnson, out along the baseline. So we talked about Jordan Crawford. He played in the Big Ten. Tubby Smith is familiar with him. He said he beat us three times when he was at Indiana. In addition, Jordan's brother Joe played for Tubby at Kentucky. So Coach Smith very familiar with the Crawford family and what Jordan is capable of as Damian Johnson makes the free throw. 
McLean called on his third foul. Get a change here as Lions will sit. And Holloway returns for Xavier. Minnesota can cut it to nine. But Johnson has it come off the rim. Ten point game, 435 remaining in Milwaukee. Crawford rushing down the floor, the stutter step. Yeah, and I think it's key for Xavier, the way they've been playing on. A lot of times teams will take the, the air out of the ball purposefully and just sit on it. I think you got to continue to use the clock and play aggressive. Make sure everybody touches it and gets some good touches. And we'll get a three second violation. We'll see if Minnesota can take over and take advantage of the turnover. And coming up, action from the south, Sienna Purdue, Missouri Clemson in the east, Oakland and Pittsburgh here in Milwaukee, and Wolford and Wisconsin also in the east region. Still pretty good pressure on the perimeter here by Xavier, not letting the guards from Minnesota really dictate the action. Johnson the attack, and stripped for the ball by Crawford. And there's one where you pull it out, good smarts. But don't sit on the ball for the whole shot clock. Make sure you get go something going around that 20-second mark. Crawford against Johnson. Gets the step. Jackson looks to the interior. Keep it on the outside. 14 to shoot. Xavier comfortably in front. They've got a 10-point lead. We have three and a half remaining. Holloway the penetration. And he lost it. Turnover, Musketeers, just their fifth of the day, but a couple late in this second half. Three consecutive turnovers now for the Musketeers. Ten-point lead for Xavier as we step aside in the West Region. Xavier 57, Minnesota 47. We've got 326 remaining in the second half here in Milwaukee. The story has been the play of Jordan Crawford. Some electrifying moves from Crawford and simply took over offensively when Xavier had an opening. He's got 22 to lead all scores. Chris Mack played in the NCAA tournament as a member of the Xavier Musketeers. Also played when he began his career at Evansville before transferring to Xavier. Minnesota's been held without a field goal for over six minutes. Carter. See, they're not really getting anywhere on the bounce either. I mean, just pushing it down and not really doing anything with a purpose. Johnson sets the screen. Joseph gives it up. Ten to shoot. Carter lines up a three. And nails it. Paul Carter. And a timeout taken. It's a seven-point game with 2.57 remaining. Carter a three, trying to keep Minnesota alive. Look at the game reset. Window is still open here for the Golden Gophers. Each team with three timeouts, 18 fouls, possession arrow to Minnesota. And if you're thinking Minnesota right now, you have to think it. Here they come, they extend, right? First thing you start to think about, what, do I, what can we do to change the tempo of this game right now in terms of the defensive effort? So he goes, Tubby Smith puts his, his guys up full court. May not stay with it in the full court all the way, but at least get you thinking about something to get you hurrying up a bit. Lining up a three, Jackson, no, and it worked. And it's rebounded by Carter. That's exactly what you're trying to get, a quicker shot. Now, Xavier wanted to take some time out. Westbrook can't get the three to drop. And Crawford there for the board. Got to stay up top if you're Minnesota. Keep the pressure on everybody who has the ball on the perimeter. Crawford zigzagging to the rim. And Xavier backs it out. 2-22 left to play. Second half. Xavier up by seven on Minnesota. Winner will play the survivor of the Pittsburgh-Oakland game coming up here in Milwaukee. Holloway has a high screen from Love. They switch. Gets around Carter. Holloway leaning in. Doesn't get the roll, but he does draw the foul. Holloway has really taken over the ball this year, though. For Xavier, has played well in big spots also. And you look at him right now, a little bit of a hesitation. The key is to get that shoulder in front. He does, and he's successful in not only getting his shot off that nearly goes in, but successful to the point where he gets to the line. 85% shooter. They are just 7 of 13 from the free throw line, though, here today. 
During the season, Xavier shot it at 71%. Xavier up by eight, 208 remaining. First round action from the West region. Terrell Holloway, the sophomore, knocks down a pair, extends the lead to nine. Minnesota running out of time here. Joseph handling the ball for the Golden Gophers. Just not many seams on this man-to-man -man offense. Guys are really doing a good job of containing the dribbler. Joseph on a bounce inside, Johnson. Westbrook had the big first half. Three or four times in a row we've seen no penetration at all by the guards with the dribble. Hoffarmer swings it. Shot clock is down to eight. Westbrook forcing his way in. Oh, it goes down, but waved off. Yeah. Foul was called before the delivery yep. from Lawrence Westbrook. Yeah, about eight feet out on the floor is where the bump took place. One and one situation here for Westbrook, who's an 83% shooter. Jackson picks up the personal. Lawrence Westbrook, he dropped 40 pounds from last year to this year. Now three of three from the free throw line. No bread, no sugar. Are you looking at me when you're talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> I know you couldn't do it, because I know I could. As Westbrook knocks down a pair, it's a seven-point game, 19 points for Lawrence Westbrook. And I'm in this situation with a minute 39 on the clock, not a bad spot sometimes to be aggressive defensively, and if you happen to pick up a foul, so be it. Time is your enemy right now. Oh, Holloway wow. nearly lost the ball. No need to rush it here with a minute 26 to go, nursing a seven-point lead. Crawford swings it. And a foul called McLean on his way to the rim. Well, we've seen it all from Crawford with his defensive swipes, his ability to get through the middle of the floor. The jumper has looked pretty good also, and also defensively again. But one of the things he did was at the halftime break, I think he put it on himself to say, I'm going to take over this second half and really step it up a bit. Some huge numbers surpassing his season average. 25 for Jordan Crawford. McLean at the free throw line, shooting it at 62%. He's got 14 boards, McLean, here this afternoon. Get a switch for Minnesota. Hoffarber will sit. One of the most dangerous yeah, three-point shooters in college basketball is now on the bench. Thinking the same exact thing. And McLean gets the roll on the second attempt. Xavier up 60 to 52. We're down to a minute 20 remaining here in Milwaukee. They haven't been successful yet, but try to get the ball going towards the basket. Jump shot, Joseph. Rimming out. Rebound and stick back for Johnson. Minnesota within six. And a timeout taken with a minute 12 left to play. Doesn't seem like anybody wants to go home early in these tournament games, huh? The number six seed, Xavier, trying to advance. They've got the lead over number 11, Minnesota, late. W. Smith squad still within striking distance here with a minute 12 left to play. Xavier with a 60 to 54 lead. Musketeers have the basketball. Chris Mack coaching in his first NCAA tournament game as a head man took over for Sean Miller, who took the head job at Arizona. The Xavier program has quietly become one of the most consistent programs in the country. They've been to the NCAA tournament nine of the last ten years. Right now, they're just trying to hold on against Minnesota. Just over a minute to go. Yeah, looking for a trap situation along the sidelines. Musketeers handle it. And now Minnesota has to back up and just play solid defense. Yeah, you don't want to pick up the foul right now. 15 you, to shoot, then 50 you, seconds to play. Then you're just going to burn more clock, so you got to play it straight up. Don't pick up one reaching right here. Johnson went for the steal. Timer down to five. Holloway makes his move. Off the crossover. Crawford. Got it. A three. Jordan Crawford has done it all. 28 for Crawford. Boy, has he ever stepped up in this second half, and they just worked it down, a little patience, and he was just ready to let it rip successfully. Xavier has shot it at 56% in the second half. We look at the game reset. 
The Musketeers with a 63 to 54 lead. 38 seconds left on the clock. I think their approach coming into the second half on was much more focused. They shot 21% in the first half of this basketball game. They somehow managed to not to score at halftime, but you take a look at these numbers by Crawford. Just sensational in all aspects. And we talk about the numbers, right? 28 points nearing his career high at 30. But how about the rest of the box score where he has just been terrific in terms of defensive effort, doing a little bit of the rebounding, five assists, has really chipped in to do a complete overall game approach, especially in the second half. Crawford has been the difference maker. Final 30 seconds now. Jump shot doesn't go for Bostic. Step and over. along the baseline, he was out of bounds. So Xavier turns it over with 26 seconds remaining. Now this Minnesota squad didn't even know if they were going to get into the NCAA tournament. Heading into the Big Ten tournament, they needed to make a splash. And they did, upsetting Michigan State and Purdue before falling to Ohio State in the Big Ten final. Timeout, 26 seconds left. Game reset, Minnesota has one timeout remaining. They trail Xavier 63-54. to First round action here in Milwaukee. Coming up, Pittsburgh and Oakland. They will face the survivor of this one. Minnesota gets it in. Westbrook, his three rattles out, rebounded by Love. And that will just about do it. Foul called with 19.7. Love will head to the free throw line, the lone senior on this roster. And the speculation will begin for Tubby Smith and his future. Will it be with the Golden Gophers program or will it be somewhere else? Story circulating that Smith could be in line for the Auburn job. Being reported on CBSSports.com earlier today from Dennis Dodd. Love at the line, 70% shooter. Six points for Love. And Tubby Smith's squad down by 10. For Chris Mack, first experience as a head coach in the NCAA tournament, and his team looked like a veteran squad in the second half. It sure did. The adjustments that he made were just spectacular. It also helps with Crawford stepping up his game and really putting them on his shoulders. But I thought the confidence level for Xavier in the second half was just remarkable compared to how they failed to shoot and knock back shots in the first half. Carter steps into the three. And knocked out of bounds by Rodney Williams, who just checked in. 12.8 remaining. So Xavier will now await the winner of Pittsburgh-Oakland in the 3-14 matchup. Carter a three. And Crawford able to gather in. Xavier handles Minnesota and moves on to the second round in the West region. 65 to 54 the final in Milwaukee. Xavier 25 and 8. Last year they went to the Sweet 16, lost to Pittsburgh. The year before the Elite Eight, they lost to UCLA in Phoenix. The consistency of the Xavier Musketeers. They get it done against Minnesota, 65 to 54. Chris Mack and company on to the second round. Let's head to New York. Send it over to Greg Gumbel. All right, Ian, thanks very much. So the Musketeers move on. The Minnesota Golden